I'm Adrian Luke, and welcome to Look Beyond the Classroom, where learning has a limit. In this video, I'm going to talk about my top 7 recommended digital tools and add-ons that will help us and make our lives easier as a teacher or even as a professional. These recommendations will definitely unleash the force within us to increase productivity, increase engagement, and save time. So tara, sama na kayo, and let's go! Fear of adapting. Is the dark side stronger? No. No. But the busier, more seductive. But how will I know what to do? You will know when you are calm, at peace. Passive. A Jedi uses the force for knowledge and defense. Never for attack. But tell me why I can... No, no, there is no why. <sighs> Nothing more will I teach you today. Clear your mind of questions. May the force of the following recommended apps and add-ons be with everyone. I'll be providing you with the necessary links in the description box below. Let's start with number one. Canva. Canva is a graphic design platform that allows users to create social media graphics, presentations, and posters. It is available on web and mobile. It's very useful dahil mabilis at madali na lang kayo makakagawa ng mga designs from your mobile phone. Meron na rin Canva for Education. You can enjoy its premium features by using your school account. Aside from creating posters, presentations, and infographics, Ang maganda rin with Canva is that meron din siyang mga short courses for you to enjoy and learn from. May mga templates na available in sizes that you can use to promote in your social media accounts, in your websites, to increase engagement. App number 2, Screencastify. It's an add-on para makapag-record kayo ng lecture ninyo with yourself and your slide presentation. Mada-download nyo ang Screencastify if you're using a Chrome browser. Just go to Chrome Web Store and type in Screencastify. Just click Add to Chrome para ma-download nyo na ito for free. You can find the Screencastify app or your other downloaded apps from the Chrome Web Store on top of your browser. Katabi po niya ang search box or what we call Omnibox for Chrome browser. You can use this add-on as one of your tools for distance learning. You can upload this in your Google Classroom or Google Sites or in your Google Drive para mapanood ito ng mga students inyo if they want to have a self-paced learning. Madalas ba kayo mag-worry na kapag nag-research kayo in your laptops ay marami kayong mga tabs na naka-open? That actually slows down the performance of your laptop. So, ang pwede nyong gawin at i-download ay ang number 3, what we call Tab Suspender. The Tab Suspender add-on will temporarily hibernate your unused tabs. So, kung marami kayong naka-open na tabs at hindi nyo muna ginagamit, lalo na while researching, it will be hibernated in a couple of minutes. Depende po yan sa isa-set ninyo. In that way, may iwasan po natin ang pagbagal ng ating laptops. You can download it in the Chrome Web Store. Add-on number 4. 
Kung marami kayong links na ipinamimigay with your students, for example, Google Forms, and you're giving them links for them to answer or access, don't forget to use a URL shortener. Ang kagandahan with URL shortener is that hindi nyo na ibibigay ang mahabang URL links. Is that hindi na kayo magbibigay ng mahabang URL for your students that are hard to write down or hard to memorize. And also, with URL shorteners, you can set alias for your activities para ma-organize nyo ito mabuti. Here are the following URL shorteners. App number 5, Flipgrid. This tool is a website that allows teachers to create grids to facilitate video discussions. Each grid is like a message board where teachers can post questions called topics. And their students can post video responses that appear in a tiled grid display. Madalas kung pinapagamit ang Flipgrid with my students, especially if I want them to create a video reporting to showcase their work. Kailangan nyo ba ng tool that can quickly edit, compress, and convert PDF files? Ang sagot po dyan ay ang app number 6. Small PDF, your PDF tool that's also integrated with your Gmail. You can download Small PDF in your Chrome web store. This add-on can be a buzzer beater tool and can save you from a stressful time kapag marami tayong documents na hinahandle in different file formats. Ang ating last feature app in this video would be Google Drive. We all know that Google Drive is a cloud storage where we put all our files, mapa foreign file man yan, or a Google document. But with Google Drive, alam nyo po ba na meron siyang feature wherein you can just take a picture and then automatically convert that into a PDF file. Yes, tama po. Di ba mahilig po tayo mag-take ng pictures and save it as a document? Why not take a picture, make it or convert it as a PDF file so that it becomes official? Tama po. So, mabilis na mabilis po tayo makapag-convert ng mga pinipicturan po natin, especially important documents, into a PDF file. A time-saving tool, very handy, using a smartphone. At yan po ang iba't ibang digital tools and add-ons featured in this episode. I hope marami kayo natutunan. If you like this content, you can hit the thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get the latest updates from this channel. Let's look beyond, explore, and move forward. May the force be with you.